Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, a.k.a. PD Beats. Hello and welcome to the Pop Turnative Podcast. This is the podcast where we have digital discussions, the worlds of pop culture, social media, sports, and hockey. Of course, the NHL entry draft is on June 22nd and June 23rd in Dallas, Texas. This is one of our exclusive interviews. We're talking to players who have the chance to get their name called. And we're talking to a center who played for Timra in the Swedish Elite League. We are speaking to Jacob Olofsson. Jacob, welcome to Pop Turnative. Yeah, thank you. How was the combine? Talk a little bit about your experience. Uh, a lot of meetings, uh, being around there for a you know, uh, different different kind of area uh, with the, a lot of a lot of teams with many staffs. You know, big big difference for back here when you're one on one with the teams. And uh, now, uh, no having uh, all the Swedes there. You know, being ten of us, uh, being good time there. Absolutely. Talk a little bit about um, the year you had with Timra. What were kind of some of the challenges? What were you kind of working on throughout your game to get ready for the NHL draft? Uh, most of you know, trying to focus on Timra, um, getting my my spot to being a, a impact player. That was something I was looking forward to do, and you know, coming up in the men's league, and that was you know taking more responsibilities on the both. And so the ice, that was something I was focusing a lot and talking with the coach to you know, improve during the whole season. You mentioned there were 10 Swedes at the Combine. Um, I mean, do you think that that's an advantage from your perspective that you guys get to play in the Swedish Elite League as young players with older older players rather than other teams that play in junior leagues? Do you see it as an advantage, right? Uh, I think it's from person to person, uh, of course. But, I mean, always good to play against men, you know, in the NHL, there's men there. Uh, that's how you want to play and where you want to play. So that's how you, you know, want, want to be. Absolutely. And, you know, you're a centerman um, and a, a, a big body up front in the middle. But what kind of centerman do you want to be known for? Uh, a two-way centerman with a lot of upside to the offensive. That's something I'm you know, working a lot on being more of a offensive and creative in the offensive zone. That's something that I, you know, being a hard worker but still create offense. And uh, at the NHL Combine, you had a lot of interviews um Talk a little bit about um, the process. How many interviews did you have, and uh, was it overwhelming or was it just exciting? Uh, I think I had twenty-seven or twenty-six, something like that. And you know, for the first first meeting, I was real nervous, of course. No, didn't know what to expect, and uh, after that, so just kept on rolling on good. And you know, every interview felt good, and I was you know, I was saying the same thing over and over, almost. But I mean, it was feeling uh, very exciting and good to be there. There's a lot of, like, getting back to the Swedes, you know, a player that a lot of people are talking about, Rasmus Dalid, but also your teammate and team, you know, Philip Hallander. There's a lot of Swedish players. How could you kind of define the current crop of Swedish players? What kind of players are they? Uh, you know, good guys off the ice, of course. Everybody, you know, being humble and uh, good guys. And on the ice, everybody's uh, have offensive minds, all of them. And uh, being... Uh, uh, of course, Rasmus, incredible player. You know, everybody knows him and uh, how he makes things and the ice happen. And same with Hollander, being a great skater, have the shot to go with there and a great playmaking ability. You've got the chance to play for um, Sweden in international tournaments. How important is that? It's not league game, but those are really important, and you could take those experiences to um, to elevate your game. Correct? Yeah, of course. Uh, playing against top. Tough guys in my age group, you know, getting uh, how, you know, how everybody else is, and that's you know, getting something to work on when you get home here and trying to improve. How do you find um, the overall year has been? I mean, you start off the year with team rights, your initial draft year. There's going to be a lot of people, you know, on social media talking about you. You're going to do a lot of interviews in Sweden, but also in North America as well. How do you kind of block out that noise and just focus on Timra? Uh, no, I feel like it's pretty easy when you're in the arena. I know being on the folks in Timra and improve. Uh, you can affect only what you yourself improve, and uh, that's the thing that I had the main focus on. And, you know, having uh, a great time in Timra, and that's something that we you know, ended well. Aside from getting drafted, what were some other goals for Jacob Olofsson? What did you kind of, um, what do you want to exp- like uh, improve on? Is there stuff that you're kind of working on specifically goals-wise for the next couple of years? Yeah, of course, I have a mindset coming into the NHL, you know, small steps, you know, improving. I know my weaknesses, you know, that's something that we 
all need to improve on, and that's something I push a lot. You know, taking my home to the to the gym here and uh, you know doing doing a little extra. Who are some players that you uh, Swedish players? Um, we'll start with Sweden, then maybe non Swedish players. Who are some players that you watch? You know, in the NHL that you kind of maybe not necessarily modeled your game after, but you kind of watch and you really enjoy their um, their their uh, their game. Who are some of those players? Uh, Backstrom, of course, someone I like. I enjoy watching and being uh, probably the best Swedish guy over there now and uh, and the forward and Philip Forsberg also a guy that I like to watch. Absolutely. Who um in in the, in the Swedish league you're playing with some players that have a lot of experience. Has there been any players on your team or maybe on other teams that have given you some advice about you know the whole process? Because a lot of them have gone through you know the NHL draft process and played pro. Have who are some players that maybe were giving you some advice? Uh, not something in particular. You know, everybody. You know, being the youngest guy in the on the team, everybody wants to help you and give them small advices here and there. But it was, you know, having the, your uh, feet on the ground and don't give up the chance. You know, put all put all the work you can do. So, uh, give yourself a shot to get there. Who are some players that you played on in the international stage, whether they're on Canada, Russia, U.S. that you played that you thought was very hard to play against? Were there any players that you were impressed with when you played in some of those tournaments? Uh, I would say Wallstrom, you know, having being the uh, dangerous wherever he is, you know, having the the shot that he has and can fire from everywhere. Absolutely. Have you um have have you have you thought about kind of um what you what you've been trying to do these past couple of weeks to kind of get ready for the draft? I mean, um, I'm sure you know the combine happens and then you have a lot to think about how's the kind of process been one week before the draft has it been overwhelming have you done a lot of interviews what's it been like uh no no since i come back from uh, the combine there was no interviews i know being just focusing training and, and getting ready for the, the season and trying to be better and uh you know just being uh happy that it's happening here and you know coming into the friday saturday and uh, we'll be looking forward to a lot what element of your game do you think do you take more pride in? Is it you know the fact that you're kind of a big body out there, your shot, your speed? Like, what are some elements of your game that you think make make yourself stand out? Uh, being a playmaker, uh, making good passes, and being a you know, offensive two-way center, man. That's something that I'm you know being uh, a playmaker that can make passes and still have the shot there to go. And um. It, it must have been really cool to see, you know, Nicholas Backstrom finally win the um, Stanley Cup with the Washington Capitals. And he's a player that you kind of looked up to in terms of the playmaking. Have you ever met Backstrom before? Uh, no, I haven't met him. But, I mean, uh, look, looking at a lot of games that he watches. And, of course, now they're in the playoffs when we're, we're there. You know, fun to see and finally raising the, the cup, of course. And it was happy for him. And know how he uh, also always being a playmaker uh, in all the years. What were your experiences like in the Swedish Elite League in terms of getting the opportunity to um, also, you know, play on a team like Timra that had a lot of success in the years, but also knowing that you're going to kind of be under the microscope, you're going to have a lot of interviews, you and Hallander with the draft. Did you find it difficult at all, or was it just an overall fun experience? Uh, I think it was most fun. Most fun. Uh, being Having a good year in Timra, and we, you know... Uh, had a good run during the whole season, and we, you know, it was easy to have interviews here and there, and uh, just good times. And uh, of course, we ended at the best way to get promoted, and that was, you know, during the whole trip, it was just fun. What have been some of the biggest changes in the Swedish Elite Hockey League? Is it getting bigger? Is it getting faster? What have been the changes? Because I understand, I believe you played two years for Team Rack, correct? Yeah, uh, I think we say, you know, the speed, uh, how the hockey is now. You know, they don't have to be. The biggest guy in the eyes, you know, being smarter than you know, being uh, skillful and speed. That's you know how the hockey is changing, and that's what this was saying in Sweden. What are you looking forward to the most uh, in Dallas, Texas, for the draft? <laughs> it's been a fun, fun time there. You know, uh, like to see Rasmus go first. You know, being second Swede overall and uh, first overall, so it will be real fun. Absolutely. Do you, um, if we talk about your game and, and the center? Centers are very important, um, and there's also a centerman, Rasmus Asplund, um, who is Buffalo Sabres uh, um, 
uh, uh, draft pick, and he signed recently. He is amazing in the center. I remember there was a stat. I think it was two um, two World Juniors ago. He had like a ninety six percent faceoff win percentage in the tournament. It was crazy. How important is it for you? Like the draw. Like do you take pride in that aspect of it as well? Like actually like winning faceoffs because that is something I don't think people talk a lot about as much with centermen. Uh, yeah, of course. You know, wants to be in uh, all the situations. You can't be bad at the face offs. You know, want to be play big minutes. You want to. You have to be good at face offs. That's something I, you know, improving and trying to uh, work on uh, each and every day. And being a centerman, you can't give up uh, face offs. So that's of course something. Who is Jacob Olafson on the ice, and who is Jacob Olafson off the ice? Uh, on the ice, you know, wants to wants to win. You know, give every everything for his team and. Uh, no, don't give anything up. You know, I play every every shift and every minute, and that's uh, being a uh, just a good teammate. Uh, and on the other side, uh, the same, being a good guy. Uh, just want everybody to have a good time and uh, being fun guy to be around and easy to hang hang with. There's a lot of players that are very skilled, and there's a lot of people use the word flashy. What do you think about the term flashy? You know, players like Oliver Wallstrom, you mentioned, they're very skilled. They could do a lot of amazing things with the stick. What do you kind of think about that? Do you just kind of do you enjoy that type of game, or do you enjoy more the simple game, get pucks on net, make some plays? Uh, of course, you want to be a flashy guy and you know, create create some offense that comes with, I believe, you know, being want to be creative, and that's you know can't always be simple. You have to be flashy here and there and uh, that's something that I you know, want to improve and improve my skill set and that's a you know, big, big part. Absolutely. And um, have you kind of paid attention to a lot of the social media at all? I mean, the Swedish the Swedish media d- does a lot of coverage on you for sure, but it's also in, in North America and Canada and US there's coverage as well. Have guys like you, Dalin, um, Johansson, Hollander, Buckvis, have you guys been kind of talking about that, joking around about how, wow, you know, 10 Swedes are getting a lot of attention specifically for the draft? Uh, no, not something like particular. No, only uh, sometimes we just talk about what we did during the season and not something special. And when we're off the ice, we just like to hang out and uh, not, uh, take some minutes off the hockey and you know, being around with each other. And Adam Bokfist, we talked about Dalin. What about Bokfist do you think makes him such an impact defenseman? Uh, how creative he is, you know, always um, finds a way to get out with the puck and uh, isn't a big defenseman, but still great at skates, having an incredible shot and you know, have some great hands to come with that and he finds some open lanes to get some passes and that's something he just overall a great, great defenseman. Absolutely. Well, Jacob... Thank you so much. One last question: Why should an NHL dra- uh, team draft Jacob Olafson? Oh, can be a guy up front and um, uh, something he you know working on all the improvements he needs to do and, uh, and have the mindset to get to. And that's something that I'm working on every day. And I will you know I will get to. And that's something that I take pride in. Absolutely. Well, Jacob, enjoy um, Dallas, Texas. Enjoy the draft. And thank you so much. And we wish you all the best. Yeah, thanks. No problem. Well, this has been Pop Turnitive, youtube.com slash Pop Turnitive for all the NHL 2018 interviews. And if you just want to listen to them, you go to Spotify and iTunes. Until next time, this is Jacob Wilson and Peter Veed signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnitive. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnitive on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnitive on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.